we want to focus attention on hundreds and thousands of stories of individual people, none of whom chose to take the journeys that they've taken. But they were in fear of their lives and the lives of their families. And all of them are different. And some of them were skilled workers and unskilled workers. And some of them were professors of philosophy at the university and lawyers and teachers. And some of them were every profession that you can imagine amongst them. And each of them has their story to tell. And what we want our story to focus on is not the misery and the depression and the fear, though of course that is part of it. And little Mal, as she travels and grows and learns, will experience all those emotions. But what we really want to focus on is potential, is the potential that people bring with them, each in their own individual way. And we thought, oh, this idea is a bit crazy. It's a, you know, how, it's, how do you do that? Um, I, I've um, been the artistic director of a number of festivals over the years, and I've worked very extensively with theatre people in many, many other countries, and I've co-produced in many, many countries and so on, and I've worked in theatre many different ways, but I've never done anything like this. You know, is it possible? Is it, how do we do it? But because the idea is so simple that all we're doing is taking this very large puppet of a little girl for a very, very, very long walk in search of her mother, that's all we're doing. Many, many, many people found that they could connect to this The puppeteers are refugees themselves, one from Eritrea, um, one originally from um, Syria, um, uh, whose family made that long journey across, across Turkey, across Europe. So more and more and more people joined this idea, and that's how it's, it, it grew. So there are now more than 100 events of welcome that are being prepared. And last night we had the first of 